Welcome to Celestial Chronicles. Today, we dive into one of the most profound and inspiring stories from the Bible, the story of Job. This tale is about a man who faced immense suffering and loss, yet remained steadfast in his faith and integrity. Let's journey through Job's story together and uncover the lessons of perseverance, humility, and the mysteries of God's ways. Job's Prosperity and Piety Job was a man blessed with immense wealth and prosperity. He lived in the land of Uzi and was known as the greatest man in the East. Job's possessions were vast, he owned thousands of sheep, camels, oxen, and donkeys. He had a large household with many servants and was blessed with ten children, seven sons and three daughters. His life was a picture of abundance and blessing. But Job was not just wealthy, he was also a man of deep piety and righteousness. He was known for his integrity and his fear of God. Regularly, Job would rise early in the morning to offer burnt sacrifices for his children, thinking, perhaps my children have sinned and cursed God in their hearts. This continual act of devotion shows Job's dedication to God and his concern for his family's spiritual well-being. Job's Calamities Despite his faithfulness, Job's life took a drastic turn. One day, a series of devastating events unfolded, stripping Job of his wealth, his servants, and his beloved children. In rapid succession, messengers came to Job with the dreadful news, raiders had stolen his oxen and donkeys, fire from heaven had consumed his sheep, and Chaldeans had taken his camels. Worst of all, a great wind struck the house where his children were feasting, causing it to collapse and killing them all. In the face of such overwhelming loss, Job's reaction was one of deep mourning. He tore his robe, shaved his head, and fell to the ground in worship. Yet, in his grief, Job uttered words that have echoed through the ages, Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away, blessed be the name of the Lord. Despite the profound tragedy, Job did not blame God or lose his faith. Instead, he continued to honor God, even in his suffering. Job's Friends Visit News of Job's suffering reached his friends, Eliphaz, Bildad, and Zophar. They came to visit him, intending to offer comfort and sympathy. When they saw the extent of Job's affliction, covered in sores and sitting among ashes, they were so overwhelmed with grief that they wept aloud, tore their robes, and sprinkled dust on their heads. For seven days and seven nights, they sat with Job in silence, for they saw that his suffering was very great. However, when they finally spoke, their words did not bring comfort. Instead, they insisted that Job's suffering must be a result of sin. Eliphaz suggested that the innocent do not suffer and that Job should seek God's forgiveness. Bildad echoed this, asserting that God does not reject a blameless person, implying Job's guilt. Zophar was even harsher, urging Job to repent and turn back to God, implying that his suffering was deserved. Job, in his anguish, defended his innocence. He maintained that he had not committed any sin to warrant such suffering and expressed a deep longing to speak directly with God. Job's dialogue with his friends is filled with passionate pleas, frustration, and unwavering assertions of his integrity. He was deeply troubled by the seeming injustice of his situation and desperately sought answers from God himself. God's response to Job. After a long period of silence and debate, God finally responded to Job. Out of a whirlwind, God spoke, reminding Job of his omnipotence and the mysteries of his creation. God's response was not a direct answer to Job's questions about his suffering, but rather a series of questions highlighting God's power and wisdom. Where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth? Tell me, if you have understanding. God asked Job about the creation of the world, the limits of the sea, the dawn, and the deep mysteries of the universe. Through these questions, God revealed the vastness of his knowledge and the limited understanding of humans. Job realized the magnitude of God's sovereignty and his own smallness in comparison. He understood that there are divine purposes and complexities beyond human comprehension. In humility and awe, Job repented. He acknowledged his lack of understanding and submitted to God's wisdom. Job's repentance was not for any sin that caused his suffering but for questioning God's governance. He said, I had heard of you by the hearing of the ear, but now my eye sees you, therefore I despise myself and repent in dust and ashes. Restoration of Job's Fortunes After Job's repentance, God addressed Job's friends. He rebuked them for not speaking the truth about him, unlike Job. God instructed them to offer sacrifices and told them that Job would pray for them. Job's prayer for his friends was accepted, and God did not deal with them according to their folly. In the end, God restored Job's fortunes. He blessed Job with twice as much as he had before. Job's livestock increased, and he was blessed with new sons and daughters. His daughters were noted for their beauty and received an inheritance along with their brothers, which was unusual for that time. Job lived a long and fulfilling life, witnessing four generations of his descendants. Lessons from Job's Story 
The story of job offers profound lessons for us all. It teaches us about the mystery of suffering and the importance of maintaining faith even in the darkest times. Job's unwavering integrity and his refusal to curse God, despite his immense suffering, demonstrate a profound trust in God's sovereignty. Job's friends represent a common misconception, that all suffering is a direct result of sin. Their insistence on this point highlights the dangers of self-righteous judgment and the importance of compassion and understanding when comforting those who suffer. God's response to Job reminds us of the vastness of his wisdom and the limitations of human understanding. It encourages us to trust in God's greater plan, even when we cannot see it. Finally, Job's restoration shows us that God is just and faithful. While we may endure suffering, God's ultimate plan is one of restoration and blessing. Job's story is a testament to the power of faith, the importance of humility, and the hope of redemption.